Hey guys, welcome to the next video on Python tutorial for beginners. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Python 3 on your Windows 10 operating system. So let's get started. So first of all, open your favorite browser on your Windows 10 operating system and then search for Python. And the first link which will appear here will be from python.org. So we are going to click on that link. And once this python.org website is open, you just need to scroll down a little until you see this downloads section. And you can see at the time of making this video, Python 3.7.0 is the latest version of Python available. So we are going to click on this link which says Python 3.7.0 and you will be redirected to this page which says Python 3.7.0 and now I'm going to scroll down until I see the files here and you will see there are various kinds of installer available here. We are going to install the Python using the executable installer. So we are going to choose this option which says Windows x86 hyphen 64 executable installer and now i will wait for this executable to be downloaded and once this executable is downloaded you just need to click on this exe file and i'm going to minimize the browser here so you can see python's 3.7.0 setup window has been started and on the first window you will see two options here one is install now and other is customize installation so what we are going to choose is this option which says customize installation because when you choose this install now option python will be installed at this path which i don't want to use you can see it's a long path which i don't want to remember so i will use uh, this option which says customize installation and i will also check this option which says add python 3.7 to path so now let's click on customize installation and next you will see this optional feature window and you can see there are some optional feature which this python installer will install for example documentation pip it will install which is a python package manager idle ide python test suite and other feature it's going to install so i'm going to leave everything as default and then i'm going to click next and now this next window will open which says advanced option here i'm going to check this option which says install for all users and i'm going to leave other check boxes as checked and then you will see this section here which says customize install location so i want to install python on my c directory so what i'm going to do is i'm going to open the windows explorer and i'm going to go to the c directory here and once the c directory is open i'm going to right click here and i'm going to create a new directory and i'm going to name this directory as python and then i'm going to press enter and this path i'm going to give here in the customize install location so i'm going to just give this path which says c colon slash python and then backslash python 37 3.7 here means that we are going to install 3.7 version of python so now python will be installed at this location on my computer and then i'm going to click on the install button here and then you will see the installation will start and it will be finished in a few seconds so just wait for the installation to complete and after some time i can see this message which says setup was successful so i'm going to click on this close button which is going to close this installer. So now in order to check whether Python is installed on our Windows operating system or not, we are going to search for Python here and you will see a few options here. One is this Python 3.7 terminal, other is idle IDE. So first of all, we are going to click on this option which says Python 3.7 64-bit, which is going to open this kind of terminal. So this is a Python terminal and here we can, uh, for example, print something. So I'm going to just write print and in the parentheses and in between the double quotes, I can just write hello world and then press enter, which is going to in return print hello world. That means Python 3.7 terminal is working. So I'm going to close this terminal now. And once again, I'm going to search for Python here. And this time I'm going to select this option which says idle. Okay, so just select this option which says idle and in the parenthesis Python 3.7 64-bit. So this idle is an IDE which comes with Python installation. At the time of installation, we have chosen this option to install idle. That's why we can see this option here. And also this is an interactive shell. So you can once again write uh, print and inside the parenthesis, you can uh, just write, for example, once again, hello world 
and then press enter and it's going to give you this kind of output here. So now Python interactive shell is working and idle IDE is also working. So I'm going to close this idle IDE. And now I want to check whether Python is working using my command prompt or not. So I'm going to right click on this windows button and then I'm going to click on command prompt. And here I'm going to first of all write uh, Python and then press enter. And you can see this Python option is working now, even on your command prompt, right? So here also you can uh, just write print and inside the parenthesis, you can just print uh, hello world and then press enter and it prints hello world in return. So now we have successfully installed Python on our Windows 10 operating system. So from the next video, we are going to use these tools in order to develop Python code. So stay tuned and see you in the next video.